Hurt was second after the compulsory figures. He won the short program, and that put him in first place overall. Two years ago, Kurt Browning was the novice champion of Canada. jump he's done already in the program. Here's a very strong free skater, very technical. He has a very nice lift in the beginnings of the uh, triple jumps. And it's a strong point, but I'm surprised watching the opening of this program that he hasn't really taken advantage of that and really hasn't hit us with the dynamic opening. And, uh, you know, jump, jump, jump. It's a different approach to the program. It's, di it's uh, interesting. I like it because I don't feel hurried, I'm not rushed, I'm feeling that he's quite relaxed with the execution of it. Standing at the gate waiting to go back on the ice after the warm-up, he was like a racehorse. He was jumping, um, hopping around, yet didn't look worried, very tough, quite controlled. Combinations are excellent. I think he's playing it very wisely, though, because he is a former Canadian champion as a novice. The judges know that. They've seen him in practice. They've seen him do this. They know he can do it well. And he's wise not to take any unnecessary risks, because he is the leader. They have to catch him. Jamie Eggleton, who won the junior championship last year, all of a sudden, right from the junior, right to the Olympics. Became a man overnight. Four-minute program. Again, another triple toe loop out of the uh, footwork combination. A while to build up, but he had an awful lot packed in. Kirk Browning from Royal Glenora, coached by Michael Yurinick. I think he had a lot of variety. Of course, the jumping technique was wonderful, but I like the choreography in the program, too. Let's have a look at some of the jumps. The first one coming up is the triple toe loop from the beginning of the program. Look at the nice height, beautiful straight body in the air, and very solid landing. I like his back. There's a lot of strength there. I agree. He does have great technique in the, the jumps, and record. it's very impressive, but I disagree with the choreography, Debbie. I don't like that at all. I think that it doesn't show him off to his best advantage. He uh, should take advantage of the dynamics of his jumping. 
and, and be able to, uh, you the know, the mark, show off the program more. I, technical I'll have to wait to see what hit. the judges think. Five point three. I thought he really five liked five it. He picked up Gumby five there five on the ice. Five they five don't three, just three, throw flowers five on five the ice five anymore. Five three, the first five set of marks five we have are five, 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 three, five, 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 three, five, three, five, three, 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 and two, five, five. So his technical side Mark got him a good range, and uh, uh, as the leader, he's expected to be able to stay there, and he'll do slightly better than that in his artistic impression, as you see the marks range from 5.2 to a 5.6. Kurt Browning of Edmonton.